Hello viewers. Today we have a Highland four slice air fryer toaster oven. Uh, it says here it has four functions, air fry, bake, broil, and toast. Uh, integrated timer and power indicator. Holds up to nine inch pizza. So I was looking for a relatively inexpensive um, toaster oven. Um, the air fry, that seems to be the all the rage these days. Uh, so it's great, it can do air fry as well. Um, not familiar with the Highland brand. Really was looking for something um, more, more common. Uh, but this is what was there. This was a Lowe's purchase. Um, ironically, uh, going into the store, the local store by me, there was not a single toaster oven to be found. Plenty of microwaves and all other small appliances, but not a toaster oven. So I, I naturally thought maybe Lowe's just doesn't carry this type of thing. Maybe it's more so I have to go to a Walmart, of course, the Amazons of the world and um, maybe even Target. But uh, lo and behold, I had a Lowe's gift card. I thought, let me try online. And they had a lot of choices online. So that's, that's what we did here. And um, again, not familiar with the Highland brand, but uh, we're gonna give it a shot. Uh, for me, for the use case here, uh, toaster oven means for me, uh, perhaps a little bit of breakfast food, maybe reheat some pizza after uh, the next day or something, uh, or maybe a small like frozen pizza as a possibility as well. Occasionally some toast, maybe a bagel, light use. So thought it would be worth taking a, a chance on a brand that I am not familiar with. Uh, it is possible that this is a rebrand of something else that's out there, don't know. So we're gonna uh, take a quick look at this, um, this toaster oven. So we're going to use a sharp knife to hopefully open the box. So let's, let's do that. And I, I'm sure perhaps in the comments, there'll be some commentary about my choice of how I'm opening this box using a kitchen knife, but I think we've all done it um, ourselves. Um, I think when I ordered this, it came, it, it definitely was something I could tell I did not order on Amazon Prime because it didn't come in a day or two days or whatever. It's, it came more so, I wanna say, in about three to five days, which is not bad because I wasn't in desperate need of it. Um, but certainly at the current location I'm at, uh, just really have a, a regular four slice toaster and a full size oven. And I have found, I think, um, that living um, in, a, you know, in, a, in a place that you have your own ki kitchen, you're eating kitchen, the most essential tools are a microwave and a toaster oven. So uh, I think we're in business here today at this location. So let's let's get this out. Let's take a look and see what we have. So notice it comes in all the styrofoam that comes in more uh, of a, I guess you could say, plastic bag. Let's see, what else do we have in the box? Oh, the, the tray. Let's take a look at that in a moment. All right. So we have the, the tray, and I guess you could call the, whatever you call this, grill tray 
tray. This is pretty standard, pretty standard offering with the toaster oven. Uh, it does still come with a printed manual. Let's take a look at that here. And who reads manuals, right? But we have the instruction manuals here if it's uh, important to you. I'm curious that they don't have a QBR code to scan for online instructions. So maybe that has to do with who they think they're selling this to. Maybe uh, an older demographic that still requires printed manuals, which I cannot personally stand. Uh, I would rather scan something, look it up on my phone, and then put it away, or or watch a YouTube video uh, to understand how it works in terms of instructions. So taking a look at the front, uh, typical, the, the glass. We have, of course, more packaging here, which is probably good since this was shipping. So we'll pull out this, this cardboard, and we have yet another tray or um, don't even know the term for this, but yeah, this is also fairly typical to come with a toaster oven. It's actually nice that this one comes with all three. Uh, some of them I've used, I've only come with the two pieces. So that will come in, into use. Uh, so we have, looks like multiple positions to, to put the trays in. So just like that. Uh, I think this sits on top. Yes, that sits on top. And then perhaps maybe this one. Nope, this also sits in the, the basket. Sits in the, yeah, so all of them use, have to use that bottom piece there. Typically for me, when I'm using a toaster oven, uh, sometimes I'll put tin foil down, sometimes I will not. Depends on what I'm doing, but if I put the, uh, put the tin foil in, just another step, of course, but if I don't, what sometimes I do, then uh, if you have something, say like with cheese on it, like pizza, drops to the bottom and then it makes, smells, burns, and then you, ha you have to deal with that. So let's um, kind of take a look at the controls here. So you have your typical uh, temperature uh, range. It looks like it goes all the way up to 4,000 or 4,500 for air fry toast. Um, I am not a chef, I'm not a baker. Um, I'm more or less a person who um, makes his breakfast, will make his lunch, which sometimes is leftover dinner, and then prepare just a small, simple dinner. Um, so I'm, I'm certainly a minimalist when it comes to my skills in the kitchen. But uh, as I mentioned earlier, using a toaster oven, for me, is really important. And what I like about it too is you don't have to fire up the whole oven to cook something that you're gonna eat in one sitting and it seems like a waste of electricity. Um, so the next uh, dial here we have for function, uh, off, bake, broil, toast, and air fry. I could tell you right now, um, for me it's gonna be mostly there. And maybe occasionally on bake, you know, if I'm baking, um, sometimes I bake, bake some chicken or something along those lines. And of course time, uh, we have the time setting for the, uh, for the toast. Yeah, you, you have your typical darkness, light, dark, darker. And then uh, time looks like up to 30 minutes. So probably if you're using bake and you set the time, and then of course set the temp at what you're baking at. Uh, so pretty, very, very basic. I'm curious where this is made out of. Um, if I look in the manual, it's probably going to tell me where it is made out of. Let's take a look. The guess is China or mo most of these types of uh, appliances these days are made out of. So if we take a look, um, let's see, talks about the important safeguards, the warranty, the instructions, um, 
Short of using an electronic air fryer or maybe even an electronic toaster oven, I probably have never read the instructions on a toaster oven before. Uh, let's see here. Uh, let, uh, let's see. No, it is not clear where this is made out of. The only other thing I can think of is it's going to tell me on the back. Yes. So it looks like, uh, yes, made in China. That was my guess. guess. The interesting thing about this is the current year at, at this recording is 2024. And the date code on this is August 2021. Wow. So in other words, this sat in inventory somewhere for that long. Really, really interesting. But... Uh, it seems to be in good condition. Ah, it's a little, a little scuff there. It probably just needs to be cleaned. It's my fingerprints. And then uh, typically with these things, they have the thicker cord. For those of you who are a little more knowledgeable on that kind of thing, uh, probably could tell me the difference. This cord on here reminds me of a space heater type cord, a little thicker. Uh, the insulation is, is thicker really here. And this looks to be about a three, four, Foot, maybe two, nah, two and a half foot cord makes sense. Um, I've one of the things when I'm using a toaster oven is I'm very aware where the cord is because I sometimes feel like the back of these toaster ovens get hot and you have the potential to melt the cord to the back of the toaster oven. Have I had that happen? No. Uh, toaster ovens that I, I use in the different locations I'm residing in today. I don't believe the back of the um, unit gets hot. So that has us um, in a good situation from a safety standpoint. So if um, anyone, what I'd be curious if anyone has used this brand, um, has any experience with it or has heard of this brand, I would be interested in the comments to hear that. Or if you know if it's a rebrand of another um, another manufacturer, or we know that many times stores have their own store brand, which is just a rebadge of something else. Uh, that, that's certainly possible. Uh, so if anyone's familiar with the Highland brand, maybe it is a Lowe's brand for the kitchen or just a general kitchen brand, uh, that would be very, uh, good to know as well. And uh, we will take a closer look at that. So let's um, hang on one moment while we get an electrical cord here and we can plug this in. And uh, so hang on one moment. Now, I don't know if this is similar to what they tell you with space heaters. You know, do not plug into an extension cord. Um, I should imagine for our, our purpose today, our testing purpose, this should not be an issue, but um, you're with me to find out. Actually, in all reality, is I have this plugged into a power strip for the time being, because I thought it would be just long enough to get to the outlet. Next time I'll, I need to better prepare, pre prepare for this. All right, so let's, um, let's just give it a, a short little test. At the time of this taping, it's uh, middle of the afternoon, otherwise I might throw a waffle in there. But uh, interesting enough, it's a blue light. I know a lot of times on these types of units, it's a red light. Really don't know why one would be red, one would be blue, uh, but blue's kind of nice looking, I suppose. So let's just see here. We'll let this run a minute and watch it get hot. What I just did there when I turned the, the dial back, 
I don't know if you're supposed to do that or not. I often wondered that if, if, uh, if that's a problem, if it's bad for the uh, mechanism. So let's see. What I'm curious is f for where I have the, uh, the temp setting, if that matters when I have it on the toast mode. I suppose if I actually picked up the manual and read it, it would tell me um, that you need to set the temperature for, for having it on the toast setting. But then again, uh, I think all the other toaster ovens I've ever used, it's regardless of where the, the temperature setting is, it's more defined where the, the function you have it on and toast would override any temperature setting we should find out. What I'm surprised is the uh, the element inside has not turned red, um, indicating well, not indicating, but yes, it does indicate that it's it's working. No, it is not. It's not warm in there. So this is interesting. If we set the temperature. Uh, yes, if I read properly, the setting needs to be on toast. So that is my uh, my bad. Now you can see it lighting up and getting hot. Hopefully I am not getting, speaking of hot, getting roasted in the comments for making that mistake. But um, you can see now it's clearly doing its job. What I wonder is it's getting hot anywhere. Oh, this is great. So it's not getting hot. I feel like many toaster ovens that I have used, the top gets really hot. Uh, the back still remains cool. You know, the irony is, is uh, on the top here, it says warning hot surface. So I'm just going to keep an eye on that. So maybe it does at some point. That's slightly a little warmer, but it's not blazing hot. So we can really feel that heat coming out now. So I would say this is a, a success, uh, short of actually putting something in there and cooking uh, or baking or toasting, whatever you want to call it. Um, it seems to work well. It seems durable, and that's the thing. You know, I paid a, as I pointed out, I paid a lower price. I think somewhere I paid around fifty dollars for this. You can get really cheap ones for like thirty-five, forty dollars. Uh, but I was worried they were, they were a little too small. And this looks sturdy. You know, so many products today are so cheap and um, made so poorly. But this really um, seems durable. And I, I have to laugh because it's almost like when the manufacturing for these things is done, it's because it's dealing with a high temperature, it's like the, it has to be manufactured well to for safety reasons, right? Therefore, you tend to have more of a quality product. These things really, if you if you even somewhat, only every once in a while clean them, they seem to last forever. I don't think I ever had a toaster oven that like burned out. Usually, you toss a toaster oven because you set something on fire inside of it and it's just not right after because it, it's all, everything's all nasty in there. So, um, We'll see. So, so like I said, we'll get some light use out of this over next few weeks, months, years, and uh, we'll we'll periodically give it a good cleaning when it needs it, and uh, hope that this is a good purchase. And really, the last thing I want to point out that it just really struck me that I really like about this, aside from the knobs being on the larger side, is it's very clear to what setting it's on. I have a toaster oven in another location that the marker here is really small and I'm the type of person that early in the morning, I don't like a lot of light on, sensitive to my eyes, but I'm squinting and, and looking and trying to, trying to, um, trying to really see where the setting is and then I ultimately turn the light on or set it at the wrong setting. So this is really cool, uh, really cool, good design. So the high land, gets high marks. And um, really wanna say uh, thanks for, if you're still with me, thanks for taking the time to take a look. Whether you are just 
looking for a toaster oven or you, um, I know some people collect small appliances or vintage appliances and these things and know something more about these things than I do, um, I would be grateful if you commented on it and, um, you know, like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, that would be wonderful as well. And as the ding occurred, I'm going to say thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.